Okay, I'm going to take a minute and kind of explain uh, exactly how I'm set up here and the procedures I use to create this compound radius on this relict vintage strat that had a seven and a quarter inch radius, very high radius, and the customer, like anyone who's played a seven and a quarter inch radius, found that when he bent the string, the notes would sort of die out on the radius. This, this is why Eric Johnson's Strat has a flatter radius, because he does those incredible bends and he can do them without the notes dying out. These are the blocks that I use to create that radius, the sanding blocks, and you'll notice that they're much thinner than the fingerboard, as they should be. The reason being is the outside of the fingerboard radius, that outside edge was not even touched. So those narrow blocks allow me to take the center of the radius down, which is what we wanted. Right at the top end, it is precisely nine and a half. And, and then it gradually gets a little steeper towards that first fret. But even that was taken down. So this is a compound radius. So we're taking down that center and making our way towards that outside edge. Now the other thing I wanted to point out was the Inca depth gauge that I use. So I'm checking that to make sure those slots are deep enough for the tang of the fret, which they are now. I've checked them all. I'm, another note of caution is the fingerboards were so thin, and on this particular guitar, it is like a vintage guitar, very thin fingerboard, that you have to be uber careful not to cut right through the rosewood and into the maple. And that's another reason to use the depth gauge so that we're deep enough, but not so deep that we go right through the fingerboard into the maple. So this setup that I have here, I have all of the frets are all cut, beveled, and polished to a few thou longer than needed so that when I do the edge dress, I don't jar the frets or loosen them up. So the fret wire that I buy comes in a loop like this. It's a 22 inch diameter loop, which is an 11 inch radius. So for the upper frets, because we're just really going from 11 inch to 9 and a half, I just flex those like I've been doing for 50 years by hand to get that radius. And by the time I got to the 8th fret, I actually did use that fret roller to over radius the frets for this portion of the fingerboard where it starts at seven and a half and then gradually flattens out to nine and a half. So all of these frets are ready to snap up and go and all of this extra work that I put into preparation makes the installation of the frets literally the easiest part of the job.
And that is our compensated nut for 10 to 46 strings, concert pitch. So now John can bend away to his heart's content. I use this just to get any traces of wax out of the way there. I will bring this in and you can hear it. And John can now do all those super high bends all the way up the neck actually. Starts about a seven and a half inch radius now and then flattens out to nine and a half at the top. So we'll do our little tuning check and then bring this into the studio, plug it in and let you hear it. Now this guitar has a lot of sympathetic resonance from the other strings. It's uh, quite lively. So I have put that low density foam to mute the other five strings as I do the tuning check on each individual string. Here's the chordal loop that I'm going to blow over top as B minor thing. So I'll let this play.
sectional chord check This is straight into my Lab Series L9 amp, uh, no effects. That's middle position, neck position. It's not a five-way switch, so you got to kind of give me a second here. There we go. There's our out of phase between neck and middle pickup. And then bridge pickup. Here's the out of phase between bridge and middle. the tone backed off on that neck pickup so this is tone wide open and out of phase between neck and middle pickup tone wide open and 
one middle pickup. <laughs> phase between middle and bridge. And straight bridge. This is both tones wide open. Uh, bridge, which is always wide open. Out of phase between middle and bridge. Middle pickup. And then out of phase between middle and neck. And then straight neck.